Welcome to an out of the package pick of a Burgwächter Look Lock that I bought myself today and a little teaser. I bought this lock because I'm going to do some tests with it as I'm expecting something very cool from Matt, from Matt's lock pit. But before um, I have to try to pick it. That should be sufficient. All right. Oh, it's very, very lightweight. That's the keyway. Um, let's see if I can use this tensioner. It's small, so it doesn't necessarily jump into this gap immediately. I use the small end. And I start with a a uh, hybrid from uh, Sparrows. All right. Oh, one is binding. I think that's it. It was three. In the beginning, it's hard for me to um, to feel the pins. How do I feel when they are set or when they are binding? I usually have too too much tension on the plug, so I try to be very careful with the tension here. Not yet open. So, and here we go. The lock is picked. I released tension even more, and then I could set whatever was it, pin three or so. Um, happy that I got this open. <laughs> lock works, no problem. Let's look at the bidding. Oh, nice bidding! Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, what can we do other than picking? Maybe shimming. Oh, I prepared my shims. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's already tight here on one side. No, this does not work. So I might be able to get it in somehow. But no, this doesn't work. I don't want to break the shim. <laughs> so, one point for the lock. It's not possible uh, that you can shim it open. How do the locking poles look like? They are recessed, so that's that would make shimming uh, very easy, but the tolerances are too tight um, so that you can't shim it open. Um, I can try to rake it, but I'm not really experienced in raking, so very light tension. But you have seen the the bidding. That's quite a good bidding, and I doubt that we can rake it. Different rake. No. Okay, doesn't matter. So the reason why I bought this lock is because I needed a aluminum body lock. Cause Matt was so kind to send me a gallium, and I wanna see how gallium reacts with this aluminum lock. Um, uh, aluminum is uh, very lightweight, and 
gallium is liquid at about uh, I don't know room temperature or maybe 30 degrees Celsius or so. I'm not quite sure exactly. And then these two metals uh, uh, build an alloy uh, which is very uh, soft or, or brittle. And after a while, when the uh, gallium is inside the alumi aluminum, you can just break the lock open with your hands. So I'm gonna see this myself and that's why I bought this lock. But before I have to remove the, the cover somehow. I don't know if this is easily possible without hurting myself. But we will find out. Use a screwdriver. Maybe I can get this cover off. Ah, looks like that this can be oh can we look inside the lock here that would be strange okay now the oh that's how it looks underneath ha huh. i had expected to uh, see a more uh, smoother surface but they seem to really safe material where it where it's possible so they didn't even bother to put a plug in here and here is the oh here is the bible so when you have a lock like this you can easily cut open the the plastic cover or cut it um, and pry it away and i think if you have something very pointy like a, a center punch or so you can probably very easily get off this plate here and then all the pins will fall out and you can easily shake them out or knock them out and uh, turn the plug and uh, open the lock. But that's not what we want to try when the uh, gallium is here. I will put this to a test and uh, we will see um, how the gallium reacts with this uh, funny little lock. Alright, so much uh, for that. Thank you very much for watching and happy picking. Cheers and bye-bye.